I did some more work with the oscillator in Affinity Photo's procedural texture filter and um, I was sort of struggling to get three different colors and I found out, you know, figured out a way to do that. So I'm going to go over that filter now. I'll also, also post the equation in the description for the video and if you want to get my presets you should be able to just pause the video and copy down uh, this, although it takes a while to enter that all in. Um, but it's pretty easy to generate your own too. This program starts with two X and Y variables that are scaled by A and W. I call them SX and SY. And then I have three different colors controlled by the sliders, red, green, and blue. I then have my basic oscillator set up. So I have two different oscillators in this one. Uh, the sine oscill oscillator and then the smooth oscillator linear. This one gives me um, this extra smoothing parameter so it can sort of go from a square oscillator to a triangle oscillator. I thought those two oscillators would give me a pretty good variety of shapes um, though I could add more to this. To get the three different colors, I know that the oscillators have a full cycle of two units. So if I divide that by three, I get uh, two thirds of a unit for each color. So the first one I start with no offset. This one I give a two thirds offset. This one I give a four thirds offset. So then each one over that full cycle of two units will have one third of that cycle. I put in uh, two edges, and so with these, I'm using the map CY. You can see a previous video on that one if you want to find out more about that. But basically, I can. Uh, it starts out zero, and then it fades from from this edge up to one, and then it holds at that value. So um, that's how the map CY works, and it's this is the input to it. Then I multiply it by a slider, so I can fade in or out, and the color, VC1, 2, or 3. This one, again, I have the two oscillators. Uh, this oscillator, I added a phase offset, as well as a frequency multiplier, so that I can change the frequency and phase relative to the sine. That just gives me a lot more options when I'm combining the shapes. Again, I'm multiplying, um, projecting against this Y plane, um, which so the basic um, shape here is going to be uh, just horizontal lines when I do that. But um, and then I can scale that Y plane up a little bit. And then I set this whole thing up as a dub as a wave uh, variable, and that saves me a little space when I write this because the line gets a little pretty long when I'm working with this procedural texture filter. Okay, so that's the program. Um, you can grab it, use it, mess around with it, come up with your own patterns. I'm just going to show the presets I've come up with so far. So I thought for the default I'd just do the RGB colors. Um, and then uh, the next one I change this edge 1 and edge 2 to blend those together. And so I thought that looked sort of like a rainbow. But I also realized, oh, these um, procedural textures make sort of nice gradient fills. If you're looking for a gradient shape that you can't get uh, using the regular gradient tools, you can easily, or well, somewhat easily <laughs> generate these with the procedural texture filter. So that's an application. Um, I hadn't thought of the gradient aspect of this before. Anyway, the next one, uh, I just call it deep space lines, so a series of lines. And this one, I just thought it looked like cake for some reason. Um, this one, uh, wow. And these, actually these three, I'll use the same colors. This one, they're overlapping. And this one, they're blending. Um, and I looked around the internet and found some color combinations. And then 
by adding the adjusting the edges you can get them to overlap in different ways to give you more stripes so instead of just three stripes I can get uh, the mixture of those colors as well and I didn't try sliding the I haven't really messed with the sliders but you could um, change those um, for additional effects as well where you're subtracting uh, colors from each other Uh, this one I just called Earthy, and yeah, that one it doesn't subtract, only if they're overlapping. Uh, this one I called Accent, and this one is Patriot, and this one is Landscape, and here's another, and another one. and another. That's all I have for this one. Let me know if you have any comments or questions and thanks for watching.